Welcome to another nugget in our series of short videos. This video covers some of the fundamentals, specifically the asset tree. On the left of the Automation Studio screen, on the Objects tab, you will find the asset tree. This is the main interface to the objects, methods, properties and events in Automation Studio. Items can be dragged from the asset tree into the action pane in order to endow steps with the ability to execute actions. This is illustrated in the Steps and Actions video nuggets. The toolbar at the top of the asset tree can be used to create variables, screen capture elements and user-defined types. This creation process is covered in the relevant video nuggets. Workflows or units of execution, which are contained in the automation solution, are listed at the top of the tree. Drilling down on a workflow exposes the methods, properties and events of the workflow. Drilling down on the steps exposes the properties and events for each step. In later video nuggets, we will illustrate the use of these methods, properties and events. The built-in services portion of the tree contains a categorized list of functions which can be dragged into the action pane to endow steps with the ability to perform actions. The custom instances part of the tree displays simple, complex and list variables as well as instances of user-defined types so that they can be used in steps. It also exposes methods and properties of the custom instances so that they are available for use in the action pane. The screen elements portion shows captured elements and exposes their methods, properties and events. We will investigate screen elements in the connectivity video nuggets. The flow control portion exposes functions which can be used for looping and decision branching. Thank you for watching. There are many more video nuggets in the online help video gallery. The other fundamentals videos delve into more building blocks. Bye for now.